Hey 4-H, it's Janet again and today's afternoon project is a simple recycled planter um, for your house plants. If you have a boring pot that you want to shake up or you're repotting and looking for something interesting to hang your plants in, then this is the activity for you. Today we're actually going to build our hanging pot out of um, milk jugs, laundry detergent jugs, vinegar jugs, whatever you've got in hand. Um, we just need to make sure that they're washed out nice, clean, have the tops on, labels off, which is a little bit harder to do. You might have to soak them overnight to get the adhesive off or use some sort of gunk out type product um, to get them off. But we want them nice and clean and dry to make our planters. So today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use a half gallon jug to create my planter. Give a shout out to the Hidden Ponds Horse Lovers 4-H Club for this project. I did see it on their Facebook page a while back and I thought it'd be really neat to do. So today what I'm going to use for my project is a half gallon milk jug washed clean with the lid label off. I'm also going to need some sharpie markers, twine, my most favorite crafting accessory, a hot glue gun with lots of hot glue. We're also going to need a um, utility knife, so it's very important for this activity to have an adult with you to do some cutting. In addition to that, you'll need a hole punch, some scissors, a house plant, which I have an ivy, as well as odds and ends for crafting if you want to put like a fancy um, bandana on your planter or if you want to do some ears with earrings just something cool. You can also use paint to paint your project. Um, I'm not painting today, but that's something that you could do as well. If you are going to paint, make sure you've got your clean washed out yogurt cups, some newspaper spread out on the table, and lots of paint brushes. So to get started today, we're actually going to take the bottom off of our planter. Um, my jug has a nice line on it, so I'm just going to take this utility knife and cut along the line. Remember, you need an adult to do this part of it. So we're just going to cut. Always good to have something on the table if you're afraid of cutting the table with your knife. If it's not quite straight, once we have the end off of it, you can actually take a pair of scissors and square it up a little bit if that's what you'd like to do. Alright, so I have mine. I have the top or rather the bottom what I'm going to make the top cut off. Um, this we can save. You may need it for something else like a paint dish. My next step is to take my hole punch and punch some holes so I can put some string through my planter and hang it. Roughly about the same distance down. You can always get or grab a ruler and measure it if you want to be precise because we do want our hangers to hang straight and not go crooked. So once we have our holes punched in, um, our next step is to actually um, decorate our planter. And what we're actually going to do for this project is to make our plants look like hair coming out, wild crazy hair um, coming out of our planter. If you don't want to hang it, you don't have to. If your jug is big enough, you can actually set your pot in it and put it on your staircase or steps into the house. So what I'm going to do is the, the side with the handle on it is actually going to be my face. So I'm going to just draw on some eyes. Um, we'll get the hot glue gun going shortly because we're going to put on some ears. You can do wide open eyes, you can do closed eyes, whatever you'd like. The wilder, the better. Now, if you're looking to enter this project, it would be a recycled craft project for our fair book. It would also be a horticulture project if you're going to double enter it and have the house plant judged. So just draw on your face, your eyes, you can give it wild lips if you want, totally up to you. Now 
while I'm drying my heat gun, my hot glue gun is heating up. If you do paint your jug, please wait for the paint to dry before you start accessorizing it. Um, just so that you don't have wet paint everywhere. And to allow time for your paint to dry so you can attach your items with hot glue. Now this is your project, make sure you get really creative, get kind of wild with it. <clears throat> Feel free to add some makeup to your project. You don't have to do a face either, you can do a wild topped critter. You could make it look like a sheep and have the plant come out as wooly hair on the top. All right, once you're satisfied with your face, which I can always decorate a little bit later, but it's not quite as interesting to watch me color as to watch me put stuff on, um, we're gonna get started. So I have for my ears, a pair of buttons that I'm just going to hot glue on to the sides of my project. I'm just going to use the shape of the milk jug to kind of guide me on where to put everything. Remember hot glue does take a little while to dry so just kind of hold your button or whatever you're going to use. You can use buttons, you can use more milk jug lids if you have them. Whatever recycled materials you can find. So I'm just going to let this sit here and dry. I'll put the other ear on when it dries. While I'm doing that, my project's actually going to have um, earrings. Got to be fashionable. Uh, what I have here is some string. And using the buttons, the buttons have holes, I can actually thread through if I want to, or I can just hot glue on the back, totally up to you. My earrings today are actually going to be fishing lures without the hooks. So I'm just gonna put my string through. Have it dangly. Put a little knot in it so I don't lose everything. Once I have the first earring done, I'm going to thread my second one. Now my first ear is dry, so I am going to flip my jug, kind of 
kind of take a look to line them up. I mean, my ears aren't perfectly on my head, but I'm going to try to do my best with my planter. Again, the hot glue does take a little bit of time to dry, so just kind of hold your button and just give it a minute. All right, so I have the start of my planter. I have some eyes, some ears on here. Oh, well, that one's falling because I didn't take my own advice. Just put that one on the side. Give it a minute. All right, while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm actually gonna work on the hanger portion of my planter. So I have my twine here. Um, to be precise, I should have a ruler, but we're just going to cut one piece and then measure the rest towards that same length. And to do that, I'm just going to unroll a bit, pull it out and measure. Once I have four of these cut, because I put four holes into my milk jug, I'm going to put them through the holes that I made, do a little knot at the end so it doesn't pull through, and then tie the strings into a knot at the top. You could go with two if you wanted to, and it would probably be okay for a little jug like this, or if you had a thicker jug like a laundry soap jug, that would work out perfectly. Um, just having a little half gallon milk jug, which isn't really thick plastic, I'm going to use four just to be safe. Again, if you're not hanging your planter, you could actually make your planter and um, not, not make the hanger, just set it on your steps going into the house. So, done with that. Just thread our strings through. You can either go through the outside in or the inside out, totally up to you, um, how you want to do your project. I'm just gonna go from the outside in and I'm just going to do a nice little knot at the end, not tying my string to my planter, but just making a big knot that when I pull, doesn't pull through my hole. Oh heck, I bent my ear. All right, we need to fix that. So peel the glue off when you bend it here, if you weren't supposed to. And make sure you let this one actually dry. So the other items that I have for making my planter today, I have a flower and then I have um, some ribbon that I'm going to use as sort of like a hair bow, um, maybe a head wrap, that type of thing to hot glue onto my project. I'm gonna just continue putting the strings on while that's drying. Hopefully not monkeying it up too much. Now, house plants, spider plant would work great for this project, and ivy, anything that really tends to grow um, will grow over the pot. 
if you're looking for a summer annual, a petunia wave would actually be really cool in one of these as well. strings are all in. My ears look fairly straight. Just going to gather my strings. Make sure I'm hanging fairly square. Pick up my back ones a little bit. And then I'm just going to do a big knot at the end. All right. We have our hanger, we have our ears, we have our eyes. Next step is to put some earrings on. Um, I'm actually going to hot glue mine from the back. So just a dab of hot glue. Make sure your earrings are facing forward, whatever you choose to make yours out of. A little bit more hot glue. You may have to hold these. So we'll wait for this one to dry and then we'll get our other earring on. Follow that up with the head decoration. All right, so we have our earrings on. Um, our next step for me at least is to put the headband on. Um, I do have a length of ribbon that I've trimmed up the edges to make them a little bit fancier. What we're actually going to do, if you have a sturdy enough jug, you can try tying it on. I'm actually going to run some hot glue and hot glue mine on. Being careful not to glue my planter strings. If it's easier for you, feel free to do the planter strings at the end. So just run some hot glue around my project. Figure out roughly the center of my ribbon. I'm going to tip it face down and just glue on my headpiece. Being careful not to glue into my strings, I'm going to run my headband around the front of my project. Perfect. So I have my headband glued. I do have some um, ribbon off the front, which I'm going to use to make sort of a bow. I'm going to make a bow now, sort of. We're going to sort of attempt a bow. So to do that, I'm just going to wrap my ribbon around itself because I do have um, wired ribbon. Add a spot of hot glue. You want to make sure when you bend your ribbon that you are um, putting the inside on the inside and the outside on the outside. You know my motto, no such thing as too much hot glue on projects. And finally, I'm going to finish it with my fake rose. I want to make sure I have enough hot glue on this thing so it doesn't fall off. 
And voila, we have ourselves a floral planter that we can just stick our plant in and it will just sit in the top. And as my plant grows, it will grow some wild crazy hair. If you enjoyed this project, check us out on Shenango County 4-H on Facebook and our YouTube channel, Shenango County 4-H. I hope you have a great afternoon. Enjoy crafting. And again, if you have projects to share from um, some of the stuff we've been making, please send your pictures on over. We'll get them posted. Have a great day.